Astronomers using the James Webb Space Telescope have uncovered a puzzling pattern in some of the universe's oldest galaxies. Most of them appear to rotate in the same direction. This finding wasn't expected. In a cosmos where symmetry is a foundational assumption, such alignment in galactic rotation challenges long-held models. It raises a difficult but important question. Are we seeing a subtle artifact of observation? Or does this reveal something deeper about the universe's structure? In a recent study led by researchers at Kansas State University, data from the James Webb Space Telescope were used to examine 263 ancient galaxies formed roughly 300 million years after the Big Bang. These galaxies were part of a deep sky survey that allowed astronomers to measure, among other things, the direction of their spin. By analyzing the orientation of light patterns from these galaxies, researchers determined whether each appeared to rotate clockwise or counterclockwise as seen from Earth. The results were striking. About 62% of the galaxies were rotating clockwise, under normal cosmological assumptions, particularly the cosmological principle, which states that the universe is homogeneous and isotropic at large scales. There should be no preferred direction of rotation. That is, you'd expect roughly half of the galaxies to spin each way. Yet this deviation from statistical symmetry persisted even after researchers controlled for multiple variables, such as image location, instrument distortion, and observational sampling. This spin preference is more than a numerical curiosity. It raises a question about whether there's an undiscovered physical influence affecting galaxy formation on a cosmic scale. If this pattern is confirmed across other regions of the sky and with different instruments, it could suggest the presence of a global asymmetry, a directional structure to the universe itself. While this is far from definitive evidence of any new law of nature, it's an observational result that pushes against current expectations. Scientists are cautious as they should be, but when high-precision instruments like JWST deliver results like this, it forces a closer look at how well our models describe the real universe. The first and most cautious explanation centers on observational bias. Specifically, the way we're detecting and interpreting galactic spin may be affected by factors like the Doppler effect. This phenomenon shifts the frequency of light depending on the motion of the source relative to the observer. If our galaxy, the Milky Way, has a certain spin or motion relative to the region of space being observed, that motion could subtly affect how we perceive incoming light. Galaxies rotating in one direction might appear slightly brighter or clearer due to that effect, making them more likely to be catalogued. Researchers behind the study have acknowledged this possibility. They emphasize the need to expand the dataset, include more galaxies from different directions, and cross-check results using other telescopes to rule out any local or instrumental distortions. But if the pattern remains even after such corrections, scientists will have to consider a more profound explanation, one that challenges standard cosmological models. This theoretical model suggests that our entire universe may have originated inside a rotating black hole. Under certain extensions of general relativity, black holes, especially those with angular momentum, could give rise to new, isolated regions of space-time. In effect, a black hole's interior could evolve into a baby universe that expands with its own physical laws and dimensions. If that's the case, the spin of the parent black hole could be inherited by the space-time it generates. That inherited angular momentum might subtly influence how galaxies form and rotate within that new universe. The result could be a statistical bias in rotational direction not because of observational error, but because of how the universe itself began. Regardless of which explanation turns out to be correct, this observation underscores how far astronomy has come and how much remains uncertain. If the directional spin preference is ultimately traced back to observational bias, it will serve as a valuable reminder of the complexities involved in measuring subtle features of deep space light. 
correcting for such biases could improve the reliability of future studies, especially as we push toward earlier and fainter galaxies. The standard model of cosmology, built around inflation, dark energy, and general relativity, has held up remarkably well, but it assumes large-scale symmetry. A confirmed global rotation would break that assumption, requiring new models to explain how such a preference emerged. Black hole cosmology offers one route. Other speculative frameworks include rotating universes, such as Gödel metrics, or modified theories of gravity. None of these are widely accepted, but that could change if evidence continues to build. It's also worth noting that this isn't the first time an apparent cosmic asymmetry has been observed. From the axis of evil anomaly in the cosmic microwave background to hemispheric differences in galaxy distribution, hints of directionality have surfaced before, but none have reached the statistical clarity or scale required to rewrite the rules. Perhaps this spin alignment is another anomaly that fades under scrutiny, or perhaps it's part of a larger pattern we've yet to fully understand. Moving forward, astronomers will need to conduct expanded surveys covering different sky regions, cross-instrument validation, using other observatories to confirm results, modeling efforts to simulate how such an alignment could emerge under both standard and alternative cosmologies, The discovery of a preferred spin in ancient galaxies isn't proof of new physics, but it's a reason to rethink our models. If the pattern holds, it may hint at a deeper cosmic structure. If not, we still gain sharper tools and insights. Either way, science advances through curiosity, not certainty.